Oh, Dawn, you have not been introduced. <laughs> Hello, I, I good evening, you. everyone. Uh, welcome to another session with the Black Belt. This evening, we have one of our Black Belts, one of our foremost Black Belts, Mrs. Mudukwe Ola Olanyi from uh, Ilori, uh, Kwara State. She currently works at Ivy Hill Academy, Ilori. She studied statistics at the University of Ilori. She is a UNESCO MGIEP digital teacher. She's a one million teacher ambassador. She's a tech advocate and she is ready to go. So over to you, uh, Modukwe. All right, good evening. Good day, everyone. Good day, have black belts. I'm so happy to be here. Just like um, she has said, rightly said, I'm honored and privileged to be here today. And I, I promise that um, today's um, um, training is going to have a lasting and um, one lasting impact on everyone. So today, and the topic that we have, the training that we have before us is unlocking online potentials. As black belts, we have uh, so many potentials in us. And um, beyond the four words of uh, the traditional classroom, there are lots that we can explore. There are lots of potentials in us that we can explore. So today we are going to be um, diving into the online space and how to teach and tutor effectively online. And I remember last week we had an, a webinar with the tutorial. We had a collaboration with a um, tut um, tutorial. And, and most of the testimonial that came from that um, webinar was you don't have to be professionally sound to be able to teach online is it's, it's something that you have to be trained on it's something that you have to have the skills the rightful skills to be able to do the work online and you know that uh, in the present age as teachers you don't have to stay in your traditional classroom you know everybody is let, no let me use the word hustle everybody is hustling like you just have something something like that you are doing to make and uh, more money, to, you know, to earn more as a teacher. Some will say teachers are poor. I don't, I, I don't believe teachers are poor because we have so much potential in us. We have so many skills in us to actually um, earn and to, 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 to have to be one of like medical doctors, like all those professions. So we have a lot in us. So today, just like um, the topic is, how to teach and tutor effectively in an online space in an online space so i'm going to be sharing uh, my screen with you i'm going to be sharing my screen with you i tried um I'm going to be sharing my screen with you right away so that we can all um, participate effectively in today's uh, i hope you are all with me Please, if you are with me, can you can you send an emoji or something to be sure that we are together? All right, thank you so much. And please, please, can you allow my phone to be to be able to share? Can you allow my phone to be able to share, please? Okay. Um, yes. Uh, my slides are ready with me. Yeah. So we are talking about online. What is online teaching? So when I we say online. So I, I want to share from my phone. Um, I'm not able to use my uh, laptop, though it's ready here on my laptop, but I have it here too on my well, phone. You're already a co-host, so you should be able to share. Oh, you're yes, a co-host in the meeting. All right, okay, ma'am. Yeah, yes. You should be able to share. Yes, is yeah. All right, so we want to learn what is online teaching, online teaching. What is online teaching? So we all go together. We all uh, learn it together. 
So how to teach effectively in a virtual environment? How to teach effectively in a virtual environment? So today we have just four chapters to look on. We have what is online teaching and online learning. Also medium for online teaching and tutoring. We're going to learn the mediums for online teaching and online tutoring. Also, we need to know the needful, why the needful tools for online engagement. Needful tools for online engagement. Needful tool for online engagement. We also need the skill set to effectively teach online. These are the things that we're going to be learning together this hour. So what is online teaching? Medium for online teaching and tutoring. Needful tools for online engagement. Then we have skill sets to effectively teach online. So that's what we're going to be learning at this moment. Okay, so we go to the next one, which is what is online? That's an introduction. What is online learning? What is online learning? I hope you can all see my screen. No. Oh, really? Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right. Let me share it again. Sorry. Let me share my screen again. I'm actually seeing it here. Okay. Let me share my screen again. All right. Start now. Okay. Can you all see my screen now? Yes. yes okay. All right. Thank you so much. So what is online learning? What, when we talk about online learning, what is online learning? We say online learning is a form of education where students receive personalized instruction and support through internet or other digital platform. Online learning is a form of education where students receive personalized instruction and support through internet or other digital platform. This approach to learning makes students accessible to education wherever, wherever they are, whatever, what time, anytime they want to learn, they can learn. Anywhere they are, they can learn from any part of the world. So online learning, online teaching involves learning, receiving personalized instruction from the tutor to the student, from the teacher or let's say mentor to the mentee. So don't, don't let us limit it to just um, teacher, tutor or, uh, or, or learner, teacher thing. Let's just um, say maybe mentor, mentee, or maybe you have an, an maybe an, um, a school whereby you, you have facilitation and all that. So an online learning is a form of education, just like I said before, where we receive personalized instruction, instruction and support through the internet or other digital platform or other digital platform. So we move to the next. We move to the next, and now the next thing is, okay, the next now is, how do we teach effectively in a an, an virtual environment? How do we teach effectively in a virtual environment? If you want to teach effectively, how would, how would you do that? How would you do that? We need some mediums for online teaching. We need mediums for online teaching. We need mediums for tutoring. You can't just pick your phone and just say you want to start teaching online. No, it's not. It's it's not. It, there are mediums whereby this kind of involvement, this kind of um, um, how do I call it? This kind of engagement interaction takes place. So let's look at mediums for online teaching and online tutoring. We have the video conferencing medium. We have the video conferencing medium. And we, we are all aware that the video conferencing medium is actually the most popular, is the most popular one that we have. 
the video conferencing medium is the most popular that everybody uses. You can use Zoom. Zoom is an example of video conferencing medium. You have the Google Meet, you have the Teams, you have the Skype, you have the Zoho. You remember we used the Zoho the last time? You have various um, conferencing, video conferencing medium whereby tutoring can take place. We have different um, video conference, but the, the most popular ones are the Zoom, we have the Google Meet, we have the Team, we have the Skype, we have the Zoho, and we have other ones. So, which is, you know, the video conference is very popular because it, um, it's, it gives a real time interaction whereby when you talk, when you teach, your learners can see you, they can have a real time conversation with you. So, that is the video conferencing media. I hope you can all see my screen, please. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. okay, all right. Thank you. Then we have the learning management system. We have the learning manage management system that we call the LMS. The LMS, whereby, you know, is a structured um, system uh, usually used for, uh, most used for educational um, programs. They are always structured. It's a kind of structured kind of um, um, portal whereby you can use it for learning. It can be used for learning. It can also be used for teaching. It can be used for collaboration. It can be used for assignment, assessment, and it is also used for feedbacks. So LMS sometimes may not be a real time and, and medium for tutoring or for teaching online. But it's a structured, just like I said, it's a structured portal. It's a structured platform or it's a structured environment where learning takes place. It's used for learning, it's used for assignment, it's used for assessment, even sometimes for feedback. That's an, an, another medium where online teaching and tutoring also takes place. And we We have example of LMS. We have the one million teacher portal. We have the um, LMS system. We have the uh, Coursera. We have the Alice. We have a lot of them. We have a lot of them where they are learning management system. This also, this platform also can be used for an um, online tutoring. You remember that um, we are all from diverse places. Uh, presently now, I'm in Ilorin. I have friends in um, Kanu. I have Ajia Fatima in um, UK, and uh, some in um, Uganda, some in Kenya, and we are diverse. We are diverse as black belts. But the 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 um, very very important thing is that we were all able to come together to learn from the One Million Teacher Platform in our own various places in our own various location in our own room we're able to learn we're able to be transformed through the one million teacher learning platform so that is another level of another uh, medium of learning so it's an online kind of learning too whereby you learn through the internet or you learn through digital things so, classroom. We have the Google Classroom. It's a very, very. I use Google Classroom a lot. Uh, I I use it. It's a very, very flexible um, platform. It's a, it's a very flexible LMS that we all can use to teach and to tutor online. We have the Canvas too. It's a very good platform also. Then we have the virtual whiteboard. It's also a medium for online teaching. It's a medium for online teaching, the virtual whiteboard. It's a digital, it's a digital um, tool for brainstorming. It's a digital tool for brainstorming and Hello, for engagement. Hello, ma'am. Hello, hello. Ma, are you, are you sharing? Me? Please, are you sharing slide? Yes, I'm sharing. Can we see you? Are you sharing slide, ma? I'm, yes, I'm sharing my slide. 
we can't see. I can't see your slide. I can only see your um your screen. We can't see okay. your slide. Perhaps okay. from my end, though. Yeah, we can see now. We can see it now. Okay. Oh, sorry. It was only That's your screen that I... was on. Your slide was not on. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's why I need feedback to be able to. The person no, so the, the, the slide has been wrong. No. The slide has been wrong for a while. Oh. It was <laughs> even me. I'm seeing the slide. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Please just give me feedback when you are not getting what I'm trying to share. Please. I'm still going to share it on our platform too. So just like I said, I said there are mediums for online teaching and tutoring. And I said, and uh, the video conferencing medium is the most popular one that everybody knows. There's no how you want to teach online without uh, using a video conferencing medium because you need a real time interaction with your learners and with your clients, with your mentees, with your mentors. So you need to have it's the most common, is the most popular and kind of medium for online teaching and online tutoring. Also, I said that there is another one, which is the LMS, that is the uh, learning management system. I made mention of the One Million Teacher Learning Portal. We have the tutorial, we have the Google Classroom, we have the Canvas, we have the Coursera, we have the Alison, we have the HP Life. All these platforms are a learning management system whereby you can learn wherever you are. You can learn wherever you are. You can learn anytime. You can learn anywhere. So, and anytime an online teaching takes place, it gives you a personalized instruction. There is a personalized instruction whereby the, the tutor gives to the learner using the internet. The internet is involved. The, uh, there is a digital space, there's a digital environment involved. Irrespective of the distance, irrespective of the time, we can all learn anywhere online. Okay, are you with me? <laughs> are we together? Yes, ma. Oh, yes, ma. Together. Okay. All right. Yes, so, uh, the third one, the third medium is the virtual whiteboard. That's the Google whiteboard. We're all familiar with the Google uh, whiteboard. The Zoom also has a whiteboard. The Miro, there's a Miro. There's one that is a Miro that is, uh, is like an AI whiteboard. And what it does is it allows um, brainstorming. It allows brainstorming. It allows collaboration. When you use Miro, it allows um, your learner to be able to send you and things and you send them back, you know, so it, it, it allows a greater part of interaction between the tutor or the teacher and their learners. So we have the Miro, we have the offer.ai. All these ones are AI tools, but they are also whiteboards. All right, so we move to the next um, thing, the useful tools for online engagement. The useful tools for online engagement. Can you see this one? Can you see the screen too? Yes. Useful tools for online engagement. So, what are the useful tools for online engagement? Everybody will, of course, know that for you to have. It's not like the when you are in a traditional classroom. So there are tools that we use to teach in the classroom. You need your you need your lesson plan. You need your lesson notes. You need um you need your um, instructional materials. You need the board. Uh, you need um, the marker. You need all that to give you an effective um, um teaching to be able to teach effectively in the traditional classroom. You know, in the four walls of a class. But online too, we need some useful tools. We need some things that we need to have if they are expedient for us to have them. If you don't have them, if you don't have those useful tools, you might not have good and um, online engagement. You might, in fact, it might, it might even be discouraging if you don't have those tools and um, effectively. 
So the first one that we have here is uh, we you need a high quality video device or devices. You need a high quality video devices. So what do I mean by high quality and high quality video devices? You need a good and quality video resolution, a very high resolution that has a, maybe a phone, if you're using a phone for your online engagement, if you're using a laptop, um, a tablet, a desktop, anything that is of uh, that has a video medium on visual medium it's a high the video device your laptop your phone your tablet they are all visual devices that can be used for online engagement but they have to have they have to be um, um, devices with high resolution video and um, quality they have to have high quality video resolution, just like I put it here. So, and anytime you are, I remember you can imagine having a, a an online tutoring, an online and class, and your video is blur. Maybe your learners cannot even see your face. Uh, maybe they cannot even see what you are presenting. Maybe everything is just not okay. You know how learners can get distracted especially when they are not getting what you are teaching them. They get, you know, they, they easily get out of the class. And you remember the distance is still there, whereby you cannot say, hey boy, hey girl, I'm talking to you. And you know, you, there's distance barrier. So you just have to have a very, very good and um, video and um, quality, a very, very good one, high resolution whereby sharp video and coverage. So we move to the next. The next one is a good audio quality devices. You need good audio quality devices. When we are talking about good audio quality devices, you know, you know it, all these um, good quality devices, we help you to have a good production when you are teaching online. It makes you have good quality audio presentation whereby your learners can hear you your mentors mentees can hear you those you are presenting to on the online space can hear you clearly there's no noise and there's no noise there's there are some um, audio devices that cancel noise you know when there are noise around everywhere is noisy you need a very very good audio quality device to be able to cancel and um, some of this noise so it's very, very important as an online tutor to have good audio quality devices. And we move to the next. This one is so important. It's so, so important. I think I experienced that now. You need a stable internet connection. A stable one. Not the one that is fluctuating. Not the one that, you know, we are, we are here uh, in, my, in my, my beautiful country. And you can't predict the network. You can't predict the network. The, the network is unpredictable. You can't predict it. So you need to have, uh, you, you need to know the network that works with your location. You need to know the network that works well with your location. Like here in Nigeria, we use the uh, Glow, we use MTN, we use um, Airtel, some use Nine Mobile. You need to know the network that suits your area, that suits your location for uh, online engagement. But I would, I would recommend that you use a wired network. What do I mean by a wired network? A network that does not um, have to go with um, your location, you know, maybe a Wi-Fi, maybe a Wi-Fi or an uh, Ethernet. I think it's better when you use that for so that you have uh, uninterrupted uh, internet connection. This is very, very important because I, as an online tutor, have had so many experiences about this in particular one, whereby you are teaching and your network is just off. Wow. Before you just come back, you, you see 
you see your learners they are already tired they are already frustrated especially if you are if you are if you are teaching learners from outside the country you, you're teaching learner abroad you are teaching learner um, that are not in the same location as you are you need to um, have a very very good and um, stable internet connection so that is very very important it's something that we do not joke with as online tutors your network must be good it must be stable it must be awesome it must be fast and it must be speedy it must be a very speedy um, network because of presentation because you want to share this you want to share that you want to open some file so your network have to be very very good and strong then we move to the other one we need an an another tool that we need is online instructional resources online instructional resources what do i mean by online instructional resources because the class is a virtual um, space uh, because the class is a virtual environment most of the things that you are going to be teaching the children or the learner have to be resources online now you want to teach a child how to um, grow uh, maybe plant something of course it will be kind of stressful when you now say you want to take them to a physical and um, farm it's going to be kind of stressful so you need to get pictures you need to get videos you need to get resources online that you can share to make your work easier to make the job easier to make the work effective and to to look more professional so you need to have online instructional resources and there are lots there are lots that we can get online there are a lot i remember um my learners in uk i i to talk to learners in uk and the first thing that the parent told me was that I'm going to be giving you resources that you work with because I know that our curriculum are not the same. Most of them um, in UK, they do the British and um, curriculum. It's not like uh, a Nigerian curriculum. So I can be using the uh, Nigerian system to teach them. So they, they, are to, they are to send me some an um, online uh, website that I can work with to make my job and to make the teaching effective. They sent me Twinkle. I registered a Twinkle and um, twinkle.uk and I, I and I registered the British Council for the English aspect and also um, the Click. There's one website called the Click whereby you have a lot of resources for um, your learners. You know, some are paid, some are free but you know, you, you can get more access to online resources. So as an online tutor, you need all these resources, instructional resources. Sometimes you want to give your learners an assignment, you want to assess them, you want to teach them. And remember, the distance is there. Remember, there is distance, there is a distance barrier. So you need some resources to keep them engaged at all times at all times. Then the last one on this list is, you need a well-balanced table and chair set. You would not want to teach and be standing. You would not want to teach and not sit comfortably. So you need a good, a balanced one, whereby you can teach for hours, you can talk for hours, without complaining, my back aches me, without saying my neck is paining me, so you need a well-balanced table, you need a well-balanced chair to sit and to be able to teach effectively. I hope you are gaining something in this um, um, training, in this session. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right, very thank well. You. Thank you so much. So let's go over it again. Useful tools for online engagement. We need high-quality video devices. That's for um, your real-time and um, interaction session. So you need a good quality video devices. You need good audio quality devices. An example of good audio quality devices, you have the earphone, you have the headset, you have the, um, you have the earphones 
then you have um, all this uh, noise cancellation and audio devices that when you use them they they are able to cancel noise around you and to block out and background noise and all that so that's you know they improve the quality of your audio and audio conversation so that's very important too your presentation tools have to be readily accessible too just like your online instructional resources whatever you want to present you need to get them all set in one place not that you're just looking for it you are looking for this in twinkle you are looking for this in google you are looking for this in an uh, another website online remember there is a time frame for everything you do online so you have to be very very organized we're still going to get there so then you have an online instructional resources then a well-balanced table and chair set. so let's move to the next and the next is the skill set to become a professional tutor the skill set what do we mean by skill set skill sets are the skill that you need to function well in a role or to be able to carry out a, a task and effectively those skills that you need to be able to carry out your role effectively those are the skill sets to become a professional tutor. So let's look at those skill sets that we need as a professional tutor. I know many, many of us are teachers, many of us are very good at what we do. For the fact that we are even one million teacher black belt, we are professionals because we, are, we have been rebirthed. We, are already re, we, we already have a, a, re, a transformed kind of uh, mindset towards teaching, and towards our profession, professional journey. So I know that all of us on this um, are good, we are professionals, or uh, uh, professional teachers, professional educators, and as so it be. So, but we need some skills to be able to do this job very well, effectively. You need that skill. You cannot even, you, it's just like a, a footballer that is going to the field. Without some two kids, you want to play ball you don't you don't have this you don't have that how will you do it how will you how will you you know how will you get the best out of your work so we need all these skill set okay so the first and the most important thing that is very very crucial to being an, an online tutor a professional online tutor is effective communication skill you need it you know all these things are not new to us as black belt we have all gone through all this so but putting them together is just reminding us of who we are as black belt you need effective communication skill if you want to communicate you want to teach online you can't afford to lose this skill you know, effective communication is a skill used to pass a clear and purposeful exchange of information. Effective communication is a skill that we use to pass a clear and purposeful exchange of information and ideas online. You can imagine if I'm teaching now, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking the language of my learner. What do I mean by language? I don't mean the language. Like, I don't mean um, speaking in English. I mean the language. What my learner need? What are the needs of my learner? That is what I should be able to communicate effectively. You know, when you are teaching mathematics, you have to be able to communicate whatever you are teaching online effectively effectively with clear point clear communication clear ideas purposeful exchange of information and ideas online ensuring that messages are understood and that interaction foster collaboration engagement and connection among participants despite the distance despite the physical distance so it is very, very important.
as online tutors to be able to communicate effectively. It is very, very important. And we have learned that, uh, in, I think in our yellow belt, we learned about effective communication, how to communicate effectively. We can go back to that uh, module in our One Million Teacher Black Belt to be able to see how you communicate to, to your learners effectively, especially when it comes to uh, uh, um, where there is a distance, a physical distance barrier. So you know that it's very important to increase and how we do it online to be able to do it effectively. All right. The next one is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. We have also learned this as black belt. Your slide is not moving, man. Your slide is not moving, man. Okay. Okay. This way. Is it moving now? Can we see? Yes, we can see. Okay. So the, the next one is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence plays a vital role. We all know that. We all know that. I'm so happy that we are black belts. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited because I know that what we are learning is not new to us. It's something that we know, we all know. But it's just putting them in place for an effective online engagement. So emotional intelligence plays a very vital role in recognizing when to respond appropriately to your learner, when they are experiencing frustration, when they are experiencing excitement, anxiety, weakness, failure, and struggles. I, and I have this particular um, learner too online. And when I take her, you know, she's, she's this person that gets distracted easily like easily like if you just move away from the screen like one minute she's gone she's she's gone from the class so i it got to a point that i was i was becoming even frustrated like that what is really wrong i sometimes i will tell the parents how can you help me and of course the physical distance is there how can you help me with uh how do i do it like She's not sometimes, she's just little thing. She's just get out of the class and that. That was when I, I started as an online tutor. So I realized that, and you know, these learners, they want to be engaged. They want to be fully engaged. You just have to be fully engaged with them. You have to be present with them. If you are not present, you know, the way they can be, you know, they know that you can't beat them. You know, they can't shout on them. On them. They know that they can frustrate you. You know, all these are in place. But as a teacher, as a, le as, a, as a tutor, you have to be emotionally intelligent. It's not everything that you get angry at. It's not every time you shout on them. In fact, when you shout on them, some of them will not even answer you. So you, you need to understand them. That is what emotional intelligence is all about. You need to understand the need of a child. You need to uh, re be able to recognize the needs, the needs, and when to respond to their needs. You have to be emotionally intelligent to be able to respond to their needs. Sometimes when they come to class, they are not happy. They are not happy. Sometimes they are excited. They are so happy. You know, you, you see them, you see it in them. You can tell them to share their experience with you. You can ask them, how was school today? In a, in a short while, okay, can you tell me how did your day go today? Did you enjoy your day? What did you, what did you get in school? Were you able to do it well? You know, all those things. And when they seem not to be happy, you can ask them questions like, what happened to you? Hope all is well with you. You know, they feel more loved, they feel more engaged, they feel more, and uh, they feel more present. They feel that you are more present with them. So it is very, very important as teachers because the truth is that it is not really easy. It's not so easy to teach online. You have to be emotionally strong. You have to be emotionally intelligent. You have to be emotionally balanced to be able to teach online. Because there are days of frustration, there are days of struggles. There are days when you even, you personally, you will know that, wow, today I didn't do so much. I didn't give my best. There are days like that. 
There are days that your learners will not even give their best to. So, but as, as a teacher, you are custodian of knowledge. You should be able to know when and when not to. And that is the meaning of emotional intelligence. So you must be fully present and engaged with your learners online. Be, be an active listener. Be able to, you know, be able to know, hear from them. Ask them questions. What's wrong with you? Are you fine? And when they do well, when they do well, appreciate them. Appreciate their little effort. I appreciate whatever they do. Maybe it's in, in little way. Just make sure you are, you are present in their lives so you can understand their needs per time. You can understand their needs per time. Are we together? Yes, ma, we are. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next, the next um, one before um, we we wrap it up for today is time management and organization skill. Time management and organization skill. Like when you are doing any online job, it's not it's not like the traditional class. Even in the traditional class. There is time, there is time, there's period where you have 40 minutes for a class, you have 30 yes. minutes for a class, you have recess, you have all that. Yes. So as uh, you know, when you are dealing with online, online space, time is very, very, is very, 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 very important. It's very, very crucial. Time management is, is a very, very, is a skill that you cannot play with is a skill that you cannot joke with you know you need to know how to manage your time effectively establish clear working hours in alignment with your learners needs and client expectations what do i mean by that you know you have to have a schedule okay this is a time that is convenient for me this is the time that is convenient for them this is how we reach out to okay the time is uh, probably and um the your online timetable you have three three nigerian time four uk time you need to know how to manage your time especially when you are dealing with uh, international students they don't joke with their time they don't play with their time their time is money i remember um taking a child in the us and i have a learner too in the us and and uh, most of the time i take him on sundays then 3 p.m. U.S. time is 9 p.m. Yeah, I remember, and I think two weeks ago, I was I, I, maybe I was just carried away with uh, the, the teaching. I take him numeracy. He's in grade nine. I was just carried away with, and uh, you know, the guy was doing well. You know, he was giving me good and uh, vibe. We're vibing well online. And uh, <laughs> believe me, I forgot that the time is it's just one hour, and I stretched towards maybe five minutes or something. The mother came to me and the mother just said, please, it's time to round up because he's going for another class. It's, it's just one hour, ma. Ah, I felt a bit a bit embarrassed, but that's the truth. Your one hour should be with your one hour. Your two hours should be your two hours. Your one hour 30 minutes is your one hour 30 minutes. It's an online space. There is no time wasting. There is, there is enough. You need to be able to manage your time and effectively so you have to establish a clear working hours you need to establish a clear working hours in alignment with your learners needs or your learners schedule with your learners time to be able to work effectively or your client's expectation also be organized in managing your tools be organized in managing your tools just like i've said this earlier Whatever you want to use to teach online, you should, you should be able to manage it effectively. You should be able to, maybe you put them in a document file, you put them in one place so that they are not untidy. Whatever you want to pick, you're able to pick them to teach because remember, time is involved. Your time is well involved. And remember, children get distracted or learners get distracted when you are not organized 
we all know this class management be able to manage your class effectively class management is with time your timing must be prompt and it must be what apt it must be prompt and it must be apt so be organized in managing your tools and your digital space and to be able to manage your learners i told you sometimes they can frustrate you especially if you take mathematics they can you can teach one topic and your learners are they're not getting it what will you do you you you, you don't show don't don't show frustration don't show it on your face there, there's a way you you need to intrigue intrigue can sickly encourage yourself from within you you encourage yourself like okay if he's not getting it what are the other ways that i can use to make him learn to make her learn so you you need to know how to manage your time you need to know how to manage your tools you need to know how to manage your digital space you need to know how to manage your learners your emotions you need to know how to manage that too then you need to know how to manage your resources maximally. You need to know how to do that. Also, the next but not the least is um, communicate your availability and expected response. You know, time to be available. I remember sometimes um, also that when you want to teach, you know, your time, because of the time and and our time varies especially when you are taking international learners just like i, I said that sometimes i think uh, it, there will be another time now in the uk that they will be one hour we will be one hour ahead of them so if you give a learner maybe five o'clock uh six o'clock sometimes it's already dark here in nigeria it's already dark here in nigeria so you need to know how to manage your time Sometimes even nine o'clock in UK is as bright as as bright as as two o'clock here. It's as bright as twelve o'clock here, and it's already dark as 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 early as five o'clock here. So all those time and variation is very very important for you to be able to know how to manage those time effectively also there's sometimes too that when and um, i think and um, during the around maybe november now october november now there will be a change in time you need to change too you have you don't need to be rigid with your time you, you need don't need to be rigid with your time then you have to show you communicate your availability and expected and um, response times to be able to maximize your time effectively so for international tutors just like i said for international tutors maybe you want to be taking uh, learners from an um, outside of your country you have to know the time you know the very time zones i think kenya is about two hours and i think two hours above us or below us i, I shall know it's two hours you know us is about six hours Canada is about six hours or five hours difference, and um, Uganda, Ghana, and all that. So, as an international online tutor, you need to know the time zone. You need to know the time zones and their conversions, how you convert your time to suit your own workspace. It's very, very important to be able to know the time variation to be able to suit your own time thing so that brings us to the end of um, today's session and all we are here to do is to grow learn and to learn we are all here to grow learn and to learn and i believe that and um, so uh, for some of us i want to take this up and it, I, I think it's, it's a good initiative if you can professionally develop yourself to be able to uh, tutor online there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of websites that they are looking for teachers that can take science they can take math they can take yoruba even yoruba even yoruba even all these languages Hausa, swahili all those languages they want people to be able to teach tutor their, their their learners to be able to tutor even adults they want people to be able to teach them all these things so 
we can um, use this opportunity also to be able to earn, to be able to earn. I, 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 I remember and the, and the CEO of Tutorial last week said that in their platform, teachers can earn up to 12 million in a year. 12 million in a year. Net worth. Wow. When I heard that, my head sparked like, wow. So why am I just sitting, not, not doing anything when I have other opportunity? So this brings us to the end of today's presentation. I hope I've been able to and um, uh, at least and um, dish out and um, some tips and some um, ways that you can also teach online. Any question? Thank you so much. I don't know if you have any question or anything you like to ask. <laughs> Hello? Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, thank you, Modupe, for an informative session. I think some people have hands up. Jeremiah, Sunday, Cornelius, Oluchi, okay. Machi. So we'll take them one at a time. Uh, Jeremiah. Okay. Yeah, yes, ma. I, I don't have much question. Just to say I sincerely appreciation. So Ms. Modupe for his wonderful and uh, a great teaching. I love the presentation so much. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, one minute teacher. I really appreciate it. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jeremiah Sunday. Cornelius, have you got a question? Cornelius? I don't have any question. I just want to share my uh, appreciation to the presentation. And oh, sorry, the teacher. same person. Sorry, I thought it was somebody else. Sorry. Oluchi, Oluchi Machi. Uh, can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, we can hear you. All right. I want to appreciate mm -hmm. Mrs. Modupe. Thank you so much. Yes, I just want to add one or two because I'm also a tutor online. Um, the Go truth ahead. is, those kids out there can really be naughty at times. Just like she said, you have to be emotionally stable. That's the truth. There's a child I teach. Once you start teaching him and you ask him a question, he just goes off. He just clicks off. You won't see him again. He he, he moves away. You understand? So in some situation, you have to be very stable. Then you have to set rules for the class. Set rules for the yeah. class. Work with the parents. Tell them, okay, if you don't do this, you're not going to take ice cream that day. You understand? So this would help them, you know, stay in check and comply. Very So it's very important you also work with the parents. Also let the parents know the advancement you are making with the children. Let them be in the know. Don't just keep them aside. Let them know how far you have gone with the kids. So that's just my contribution. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. That is very, very important. Thank you for that contribution. Thank you. That's very important, especially when working with young, very young children. It's very important yeah. to bring the parents along. Thank you. Yes. All right, we have Ifi Obikwelu. Ifi Obikwelu, you raised your hand. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Ifi. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Modupe. What I just want uh, is just, uh, can she help us share some sites where there are tutors that are required? Okay. Yes, okay. I, 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 we can yeah. share that on the WhatsApp group later. Where All right. Okay. Tutors. Yeah, she can share that on the WhatsApp group. Thank you. The next person that raised their hand, Ben Hart Klanya. Ben Hart Klanya. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Ben Hart. Okay, um, I, I, I was with the idea also of the, 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 the slides to be sent to us uh, so that you can um, be conversant with the information that they have because the, 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 the discussion. Yes, was you can very also share the slides on the WhatsApp group. Yes, yes, we will do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, Mudupa, if you can share the slides on the WhatsApp group, 
or okay, you send them yes. to me, I can share them. Okay, okay next mom. person that has their hand up is Ayub Adam. Yeah, good evening, Ma. Thank, thank you very much, Ms. Mudupe, for that wonderful presentation. It was very awesome and intensive. So, yes, my I have two questions. Okay. Yes, question one is, uh, I, how are we going to make use of these uh, online resources? So, in order to have our presentation, if you have our topics to take, and we have uh, we have the content already. How are we going to design them using online tools so that we can now bring them up to to share them with our, uh, to our learners? So that's one. Uh, secondly, is how do we negotiate price when we are working uh, with online learners? Right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. And to your question, Derek. Um. There are a lot of, especially when you are doing online um, virtual classes, you need Google uh, Slides. You can work with Canva. Canva is a very good one that you can work with. You can work with Pinterest. It's very good in picture presentation. You can work with Twinkle. Just like I said, everything is online. Twinkle.uk, Twinkle.nigeria. You can work with and the Kahoot is there. You can work with Kahoot. This Khan Academy too is there. There are a lot of resources online that you can work with to teach. Even your Pinterest, your Pinterest. If you type what is verb, you will see a lot of. You can say what is verb for Premi Five. You will see a lot of on um, on um, pictures assessment, you know, workbook and worksheet that's going to bring for you. Then the second one is negotiation. Uh, it depends on, on how you meet your clients online. Is that you are going through a platform, maybe an online platform, or you have a direct negotiation. For me, almost all my learners, I had a direct negotiation with them. I had a direct negotiation with them. So I've not really worked under anybody. So I, I can't really say this is how much you should charge, but you know your worth and you know your value. You know what you want to teach a child. You should be able to negotiate based on what you worth. So that's what I'm going to say. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Ma. That's got it. Please, I'm not yet on the WhatsApp platform. If if that okay. contact can be shared so that we can join. Okay, okay, okay. But what do you mean? Are you not on the Black Belt uh, WhatsApp platform? Are yes, ma'am. I'm belt? not there. Are you not a Are Black Belt? I'm a Black Belt. Yes, I'm a Black Belt. So you would have been added when you became a Black Belt? Ah. Uh, How did you get information about this meeting? How did you know about this meeting? It is through the Facebook uh, platform, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right, but all the black belts uh, should be on our black belts uh, WhatsApp group. Okay, all right. Okay, um, the next question. I'm um, sorry, the next person. Oye Yechi. Oye Yechi, you can talk. Oye Yechi, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay, thank you so much, Mrs. Um, for the amazing session. Um, there's also some aspect I want to also call attention to is the issue of um, data. Data. I most times advise um, tutors that you no know, internet is not something that you you just have to like um, buy for. I would advise that you have key network. MTN Wi Fi and um, Airtel Wi Fi, so that one won't fail if one the other one and that one keeps clicking. So that by the time five seconds you are back in, into the class in that aspect, that is what that's true. Like. Instead of because sometimes the network can just go up, the MTN network will go up and yeah. come back the following day and yeah. you're still stranded. So, <laughs> so I have right to have two different networks so that by the time one. First, you get frustrated, you turn the other one, and you are good to go. 
then he said, well, I just want to say, what was the question? Went. Yeah. <laughs> The second was a question I want to have in case for the online tutors, because most of the platform they will have to do you have a Google, are you a Google female, um, Zoom female or Google Meet female? I will always say tutors should start with Google Meet since it's one hour. I don't know if, if you can guide on that aspect. So. Okay, please can you repeat the question time, again? Yes. So I said for the first time tutors now, Okay, what okay. Platform should advise they should start with okay. Google Meet that gives a, okay. a minimum of one hour or um, okay. Zoom that gives 40 minutes and just off. Just okay, I, I think I would prefer that you start with Google and um, Google Meet. It's kind of flexible, it's the data is not so much. Zoom, if you are not so conversant with Zoom, Zoom can actually mess you up, especially if you are starting um, online for the first time. If I when I started, I started with Teams. I started with Teams. They, they, uh, we started on the Teams, and but at the point we had to come back to Google Meet. It's actually easier for me to be able to teach online. I can share my slides. I can do everything on Google Meet. But as you advance as tutors, you can be able to use Zoom and other platforms too. But we advise Google Meet to start with. Okay, thank you. I think we've answered all the questions. Are there any other questions? Thank you very much, uh, Mudupola, for your yes, session you. today. Thank you, all the Black Belts, for joining. Have a nice evening and see you soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.